Yeah, you are absolutely correct. So, this uh, is a sort of misnomer if one were to say. So, if one were to attribute the founder with the name of the system. So, it is pretty evident that this decimal uh, system was uh, must have had its origin in India from the various uh, literature that is available to us today. So, one of the uh, very solid examples that I can give. So, from the literature viewpoint is uh, some of these uh, quotations which one can give from the commentaries of the Adi Shankara as well as uh, on Yoga Sutra etcetera. In fact, I came across a couple of quotations. So, wherein they actually choose the foundations of this system as an example to convey something in philosophy. So, going by that it is very evident that this has been in. So, unless something is very familiar to everybody, nobody is going to cite it as an example to convey something which is more profound than that and uh, that actually very clearly points to the fact that the decimal place value system has been invoked. If one were to trace back much earlier literature, so one finds certain numbers which have been listed. So, Trini Shata, Tri Sahasran, Yagnim, Trimshascha, Devanava, Chasaparyan. So, this is some passage in Rigveda. Trini Shata, Tri Sahasran, Yagnim. So, see Trini Shata is 100, so 300, 3 Sahasrani, so 3003. So, so 3 ni Shata, 3 Sahasrani, so this actually refers to number 3339. So, this also gives us a clue, see whether they have been using this etcetera cannot be conclusively proved based on this kind of a system. But for instance, we have uh, this Ekachame, Tisrachame, Panchachame, Saptachame, Navachame, Ekadhishame, Triodhishame, Panchadhishame. So, this is all set of odd numbers listed. This is again in Veda, Ajur Veda. So, uh, in the portion of Namaka. So, all the odd numbers are listed, multiples of 4 are listed. So, it ends with Dasha. So, Navachame, Ekadhishame. So, it moves to again 11. So, this also points to the fact that this decimal system has been in use in the society. So, these are all certain pointers, but whether the operations were done by multiplication, division etcetera, this cannot be gauged from this straight away. So, these are all the literary evidences that we have. So, there are some archaeological evidences also which are available. So, in the form of the edicts of Ashoka. So, wherein uh, this uh, carving show that, that uh, this decimal place value system has been invoked. But once we come to this period of Aryabhata, for instance, fifth century, it is extremely clear the algorithms which he has presented for extracting square root of numbers, so that a decimal place value system has been invoked. So, unless you have this system well in place, one cannot present an algorithm to extract square root the way we find it in Aryabhata's work. Aryabhata, yeah, exactly, 499 AD. So, at the end of 5th century. So, before that we do not have texts which actually describe any mathematics. So, this is the earliest text that is available to us today. So, this is something which is a sort of handicap before that I am sure there would have been some Siddhantas, but uh, Sulva Sutras per se do not describe any kind of algorithms of this mathematics and therefore, from that we will not be able to say much about it. So, though they are uh, forming much earlier uh, literature. So, around the time of Brahmagupta, so about one and a half centuries after Aryabhata, so I think the trade between uh, this Islamic world and uh, the Indian continent seems to have increased quite a bit. I am sure it should have been there even before, but some of these works of Brahmagupta have been carried by this Arabic uh, traders and then uh, so it has been translated into so Arabic. So, through that I think uh, this uh, system has got transmitted from India to Arab. And uh, since this kind of uh, numerical calculations, so have been clearly enunciated in their works, so and the western world got access to that, they perhaps thought that it is Arabic in origin. So, obviously, 
so it is Indian in origin.